G'day everybody, I hope you've had a great week. It has been explosive in some areas and very sluggish in others and I want to give you some information about what I'm doing this weekend uh, in terms of what I'm looking for from the market. I am hopeful that we do get a little bit of love and joy from Bitcoin. This week we've seen Solana have a really good move, FTT token, the FTX uh, native token, as well as of course this little ripper on Ethereum. Now, of course, we saw this consolidation over quite some time uh, on Ethereum, and of course, it's played out extraordinarily well. The end of August and then the first day of spring for us here in Australia, I really did see some solid gains, you know, 11.68%. That's a big move. $400 in a day, I can remember when not too long ago, uh, it was not even $400 to buy Ethereum. And if you look back on the 12th of March, you could have got it for $95. Crypto's amazing. Now, I'm not suggesting that Bitcoin's going to do exactly the same thing because I don't know. But I will say this, across the top 10, look at this. Bitcoin has a consolidation. Ethereum did, it's broken. XRP, that's a bit of a consolidation. Not the greatest, but it's there. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, not really a consolidation. Dot, explosive move this week. Litecoin, again, a consolidation. Doge, nah, not so much. Binance, a little bit of a consolidation. Cardano was, it's pushed up through and it really needs to hang on to those gains. And then finally onto Uniperp, it's still within a consolidation as well. So across our top 10, there's a lot of consolidations. You might be asking yourself why. I think uh, the answer is that a lot of the market is waiting to see what our big dog does. Our big dog is Bitcoin. I don't know why I did that, but there you go. So Bitcoin now, of course, uh, with that consolidation, the $50,000 mark being a big one, it's on the lips of every person out there in crypto. Um, we're very keen to see it happen. And I believe that if, if we can see Bitcoin push on through that $50,000 mark, then we will start to see a lot more cyclicity uh, and momentum playing out across the rest of the alt market. And of course, for us, being traders, that's what we want. Uh, we want to see good, consistent trends. And we're just not seeing that across the board. What we are seeing, what we have seen a lot of this week, is a big pop to the upside. And then it consolidates or it pulls back. But we're not seeing great cyclicity. And I think that if we can get Bitcoin moving, there'll be a little less, um, there'll be a fair few less jitters out there uh, in the market. So for me, I'm really hopeful to see this week and provide us with some fantastic trading results. Um, and the, uh, sorry, conditions that lead to great trading results. So Bitcoin above 50,000, we get up through that resistance, start to get some new highs again within this trend, which has been consolidating and quite tired for the last few weeks. That's what I'm after. Have a look here at the monthly as well. Don't forget the cradle trade. One of the strategies that I teach within my course, three strategies is all that I teach with checklists, paint by numbers type style. Here's a bullish candle in the cradle, broke the high and since then we were up 13% followed by 5% so far this month. We're only into the third day of this month. So if the cradle is going to play out as a trade often does when it's a cradle and it fits the rules, we're likely to see, dare I say it, new all-time highs. When? I do not know. Um, but the way that the market's moving, what we do with the cradle is we find the higher low and then it pushes on hopefully to new higher highs and it's looking quite strong. It's playing out really really well. So for those reasons, a breakout above uh, this resistance here, I think we'll see us doing very well coming into the back end of the year. Don't forget whether you're a holder and you're an investor or you're a trader and investor, understanding how to read markets is going to play a very important part uh, in your development and your profits. Why? Well, you don't have to trade, but you do need to know what's well, going to help you. Uh, what to look out for for your entries and also what to look out for when the markets are very, very extended so that you don't leave massive amounts of capital on the table when you could be taking your profits in that process. So if you'd like to get onto our course, it's free right now. Become a Trader is absolutely free. It will be changing in the not too distant future. I have been tasked with doing that and I've got myself started on that process. We're going to make it shorter. So if you want to get it in its full capacity right now, then you need to do it. Yep, you heard it right now. Have a great weekend. Look after yourself, your family, your loved ones, and um, just be nice to people. Thanks very much for listening. Bye for now.